Welcome viewers, in today's math class, we shall be taking an Olympiad math question. Here we are given, if log x base 4 is equal to 1 all over 3, then we are asked to evaluate log 16 base x. Let us dive in together. Solution to this question. I will solve this problem in two methods. Method 1. Method 1. I am given that log x base 4 is equal to 1 all over 3. The first step that I will take is to find the reciprocal of both sides. And that means 1 all over log x base 4 is equal to 1 all over 1 over 3. Now, if I take the reciprocal of the left hand side, it is going to give me the log of 4 to this x. And the reciprocal of the right hand side will give me 3. Alright, at this point, I have gotten something very important. I have gotten that log 4 base x is equal to 3. I will make use of it. But then, moving forward, what I will do next is to add log of 4 base x to both sides. And that means, I will have written log 4 base x as it is here by the left hand side plus log 4 base x and to the right hand side I will also have 3 plus log 4 base x. What I have done now is that I have added log 4 base x to both sides. It is added to the left hand side and also to the right hand side. The reason is because I am interested in getting log 16 to base x. So I am looking for a way to make log 4 base x to become log 16 base x. And that is why I have added log 4 base x to both sides. And because it is added to both sides, the equation is still balanced. But then, there is a law in logarithm that says, if I have log a base x, plus log b base x that it is equal to log of a b base x. What it means is that when the bases are the same, then the argument should be multiplied. a will multiply b to give me a b then to the same base x. Applying that to the left hand side, what I will have is since they are the same base, I will multiply 4 and 4, which stands as a, a, b. So, a is 4, and b also is 4. And that is going to give me log of 4 multiplied by 4, then to base x equal to 3 plus... Okay, let me do something here by the right hand side. From here, we got to that log 4 base x is equal to 3. So since this place is log 4 base x, I am going to replace it with a 3. And that means here, 4 times 4 is 16, and that is log 16 base x equal to 6. Final answer. Very good. So this is what I am asked to evaluate. Log 16 base x is equal to that. And I have gotten that log 16 base x is equal to 6. This is solving with method 1. Another way that I can solve this problem, method 2, is taking the problem log x base 4 equal to 1 over 3, given. Now, what I will do is to multiply both sides of the equation by 1 half. That means, I will now have 1 all over 2 multiplying log x base 4 is equal to 1 all over 2 multiplying 1 all over 3. 
So I am multiplying both sides of the equation by one half, that is one all over two. And when this happens, it is going to give me one over two log x base four equal to one all over six. That is what it will give me. That is one times one, one, two times three, six. But then there is a law in logarithms that says if you are given um, log of p base q raised to power r, that it is equal to the reciprocal of the power, that is the power of the base, the reciprocal of the power of the base, which is 1 all over r, then log p base q. Okay? The reciprocal of the power of the base should be used to multiply log p base q. That is, the power of the base is r. The reciprocal is 1 all over r, then log p base q. This is a law in logarithms that is very useful. Therefore, I am going to apply it at this point. Since I have here 1 all over 2 log x base 4, I am going to, that is, as it is here now, it is like what I have by the right hand side here. So I'm going to represent this left hand side exactly the way it is here. Meaning that this 1 over 4, 1 over r, will come to the front and then becomes the power of q. Doing it here, 1 over 2 will come to the front and becomes the power of 4. So I then have the log of x then 4 to the power of 2. The reciprocal of 2, that is 1 over 2. The 2 now has come to the front and becomes the power of the base. Alright? Now, it is equal to uh, 1 all over 6. I hope this point is uh, uh, well understood because that is a key of what we are doing to get exactly what we are asked. Alright. Uh, that law is where the whole then is centered. Alright, moving forward, this is now going to give me the log of x base 16. That is 4 raised to the power 2 and it is equal to 1 over 6. As it is now, I can take the reciprocal of both sides. That means 1 all over the log of x base 16 is equal to 1 all over 1 over 6. And when the reciprocal on the left hand side is taken, it will become the log of 16 base x equal to the reciprocal on the right hand side will give me 6. And as you can see, I am asked to evaluate log 16 base x and this is exactly log 16 base x and that is equal to 6, just as we got it using the first method. Thank you for watching till the end. Like my videos and share my videos with your, to your learning colleagues. Also, Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. God bless you for watching.